I'm a uh, vaccine scientist and, and pediatrician that develops uh, vaccines for global health, but I'm also with my wife Anne, the parent of four adult kids, including Rachel, who has autism and intellectual disabilities. And we've learned that there's over 100 genes involved in the control of autism. So autism overwhelmingly has a, a genetic basis. And these are genes that control um, interactions between neurons in the brain during early fetal brain development. So the point is the processes of autism occur uh, early on in, in pregnancy. Now, it doesn't mean that there's no environmental triggers associated with that, but, there are, but these are exposures that interact with autism genes around the time of conception or maybe the first or second trimester of pregnancy. So when uh, I was listening and watching the White House press conference, um, I thought what was going to happen was an announcement that the White House and the President was really going to take this on in a significant way and convene all of the world's experts on autism research to really drill down about the interactions between autism genes uh, and the environment, see where the gaps are and see what other studies need to be done. I was surpri both surprised in, in a negative way and disappointed when instead there was this laser focus uh, on, uh, to begin with, on Tylenol or acetaminophen. I, I didn't understand that.